Okay. Hi guys, so today I'm going to be making an emulsified sugar scrub. It's kind of like a sugar scrub, but it leaves like a lotion, so once you use it and wash it off and everything, your skin will be silky, so you won't have to use a lotion after you get out of the shower. So my ingredients today are stearic acid, mango butter, sweet almond oil, sugar, polysorbate 80, emulsifying wax, preservative, and fragrance and colorant. And I'm going to bring you guys back when I have everything melted and measured out. Alrighty, so now that my oils and my waxes are all melted, I'm going to take it off camera again, stick blend it till it gets to a lotion consistency, and then I'll bring you guys back to add in the sugar, the fragrance, the preservative, and colorant. I also wanted to mention, if you guys find that your oils and butters aren't getting thick enough, fast enough, you can go ahead and stick it in the freezer for just about two minutes, two to five minutes, and that'll cool it down so that it's easier to whip into the lotion consistency. And then once you whip it to the lotion consistency, it'll be cool enough to add your preservative and your fragrance. Okay, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like after I've stuck it in the freezer for about three or four minutes. Can you see that? Okay. I'm going to whip it up a little bit. Hopefully, I only need it to do this once, then it'll be at the consistency that I'm ready for. This is what the texture is like after sticking it in the freezer for about three to four minutes and then stick blending it. I'm going to stick it in the freezer one more time. Hopefully, after that time, it'll be into the thick consistency that I want. But we're heading in the good direction. Alrighty guys, we're at the consistency that I want. I'm going to add the sugar. You see the consistency there? It's really thick. I'm going to add my sugar. This is already weighed out and everything. I already had all my ingredients weighed out. I'm going to mix it. I'm going to mix it, add in my fragrance and then separate it so that I can do different colors. Sorry if I got you guys shaking. Looks good. Alrighty. I'm going to add in my fragrance now. Oh, I got you guys out of camera. Sorry. Or should I say out of frame? Okay. I'm now I'm going to add my fragrance and my preservative. Both of them are in here. This is a blend of strawberries, mangoes, cherries, and Fizzy soda. It smells so good. Like, so, so, so good. Perfect for summer. I'm probably only going to get one jar out of this and just make this for a custom order. Oh, there's something in me. But yeah, this is a custom order, so I only made a little bit. Okay. I'm just gonna use what I had, the oils and butters and waxes in. And try and separate it evenly. Uh, 
Okay, that looks. Eh. That looks good. Sorry, I don't have that frame. There we go. Okay, to so this one, I'm going to add a little bit of neon orange pigment from Nurture Soap. I'm looking for like a pinky melon color. Oh, I can't get it open. My hands are all oily. Okay, I'm just gonna use a little bit. So stuff can be really, really bright. Okay. Just gonna use that much. And then I'm going to add some pink to it. I'm going to use Jazzberry Red Mica Powder from Crafter's Choice. Ooh, that might have been too much. We'll see. Sorry if I was... Whoa. Whoa, camera. Camera fell. Sorry, guys. Mayday, mayday. I'll have to cut that out. Oh my god, I can't believe that happened. And of course it happens to me. It's because I've got you guys angled down so far. I need a little bit more neon pigment. See how that goes. I just want it to be really beachy and summery. Oh, this is really pretty. You've really got to mix that neon pigment in so that you don't have streaks. So even when you think you got it mixed in, keep mixing. <laughs> Sorry if you guys can't really see the color too well. Can you see? Probably got too much light going on. But there's my first color. This will be up on Instagram so you guys can see the actual color of it when I get it's set up with all my lighting and everything. Okay. Now I'm going to do a greenish color. A green with a little hint of blue. 
I'm using this lime green lime appeal mica powder from Nurture Soap. I want it to be mainly green with just a hint of that blue. Okay. Start off with a little, I can always add more. Okay. Let's see how that looks. look really pretty together. I wish you guys could see the true color of that. The true color of this. But like I said, you'll see it on Instagram. And remember, this is enough sugar because once this all hardens up, it'll become a thicker consistency. So if you keep adding sugar, it's going to get way too thick because the oils and the waxes have to still harden so this is the perfect consistency I will leave a recipe in the description as well okay guys I think that's it I've got my jars they're all sanitized let's see how much I can get out of this I've got my scooper which is also sanitized okay Maybe I will get two jars out of this. It's so pretty. I make such a mess when I work. Look how pretty it is. Okay, I'm going to weigh it and see how much it weighs. I've got an empty jar here. So you want to place the empty jar on the scale, tear it, take the empty scale off, and set the full jar. This is 8.47 ounces. It's perfect. Alrighty. Now let me fill up my second jar. Just gonna alternate between the two, see what fun designs I get. I'm running so late, I'm supposed to be going to lunch with my mom and my sister. But I just wanted to get this done. So here I am, running late. But it's all right. They don't mind waiting. So I actually have a little bit more left over. I'm going to fill up this jar a little more. Ooh, I'm making such a mess. Hate making a mess. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching the video. Here it is. This is my emulsified sugar scrub. I'll probably call it like sugar whip or something like that. 
something to do with the fact that it has a lotion in it and it's a sugar scrub. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to purchase one of these, they will be listed on my Etsy. Not these two, but the fragrance will. These are actually custom order, but they will be on my Etsy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.